Welcome, welcome. Uh, today I'm going to be filming my August TBR. Um, first of all, it's crazy how quickly the year goes, I guess. <laughs> um, second of all, this TBR is going to be um, quite small. Um, I've got a fair bit going on this month, uh, so I don't want to have to push myself too much. So I just thought I'd put some books I really wanted to pick up um, and then keep it to quite a short TBR. I can always add more books later. So yeah, I thought small books, more achievable, let's get going. <laughs> okay, so first of all, um, the first book I'd like to read in August is Cytine by C.J. Cherry. I believe it's called Cherry. C-H-E-R-R-Y-H. I think it's Cherry. Um, this book is actually, well, falling apart, first of all. <laughs> Um, but this is uh, my mum's book. She recommended this author to me quite a long time ago and I just haven't got around to reading um, anything by her. I know she's quite a prolific, 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 pro that word author. <laughs> um, and she's written quite a few different books um, and in fact my other friend, it's his absolute favourite author and he keeps thinking, he keeps saying to me that I need to read her. So I thought I would finally pick it up, um, so I thought I'd go with this one. Apparently it's a psychological, um, sci-fi, psychological um, thriller, murder mystery uh, relating to cloning. Um, sounds really interesting, been recommended it twice, I thought I would actually get around to finally reading it. So that's the first book on my TBR. The second book on my TBR for August would be The Magic of Recluse. Um, this <laughs> this is a, an epic fantasy book um, and is a recommendation from my uh, boyfriend. He has a thing where he continually tries to get me to read um, large amounts of fantasy um, because it's his favourite genre and I thought I would give in and I do like fantasy, to be fair I do like fantasy um, but yeah he's always continuing trying to get to read his favourite fantasy books um, and this is one of them so he really recommends this one. I thought again I'd put it on my TBR, it's been a long time coming. It's described as like a Epic fantasy, um, adventure, coming of age story, a battle between um, good and evil, so like a proper classic um, fantasy book. I again have been really struggling with coming of age books recently, um, in any genre, and I think it's just, I don't know, I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, I kind of want a book about somebody who's already got there and is still continuing to adventure, <laughs> but um, he says it's fabulous so I'm really looking forward to trying it. I'm going to have to try really hard um, to not damage this book any further. This wasn't me, um, just to say, I look after my books a little bit better than this. <laughs> The third book in my TBR is um, All System for Red by Martha Wells. Um, I've had this book for a while, I've actually had this whole series on my TBR for quite a long time. Um, I've had a mixture of you about the entire series, or yeah, series of books, um, but uh, apparently this one is really good. Um, it's very short, I think they're all kind of novella length from what I understand, so it should be quite easy to blitz through. And again, kind of sound right up um, my kind of alley of reading from the blurb. In a corporate dominated spacefaring future, planetary missions must be approved and supplied by the company. Exploratory teams are accompanied by company supplied security androids for their own safety. But in a society where contracts are awarded to the lowest bidder, safety isn't a primary concern. Um, and then apparently they find a. <laughs> A self-aware droid that calls itself Murderbot, um, which sounds fascinating. So yeah, really, really looking forward to finally diving into this one um, and seeing if I enjoy it. The final back, final back, final book on my short TBR for August. It will be A Fatal Grace by Louise Penny. This is going to be um, an audiobook. I recently listened to the first one in this series. It's um, a cosy murder mystery, um, and I think they're called. Oh, it must be like DCI Gamash, maybe. He's the main lead, so I assume it's the Gamash series. Um, I read the first one or listened to the first one quite recently, and absolutely loved it. It's yes, there's basically it was set in a town called Three Pines. I think they're set in Quebec, um, in Canada. So it's like a French speaking, English speaking um, area. The village it's set in sounds adorable. It's kind of like, um, uh, like Midsummer Murders, kind of like, 
what are they called, chocolate box um, villages um, that just sound glorious uh, and then murder occurs and they have to investigate. And the second one in the series I believe um, is also set um, in the same village um, and also has Desai Gamash obviously. Um, and yeah, so I'm just really looking forward to following up on that series because the other one was really good fun. They're very, they're not quick, they're kind of very much more um, character driven a discussion about the villages and the village like life and drama and then the murder just kind of happens in the background but it um but yeah the last one was really fun so i'm really looking forward to listening to this one as well as a follow-up and probably the rest of the series to be fair um afterwards so yes looking forward to that so yeah that's um that's my very short tbr for august as i said i may pick up um some other books um if I get time, um, I haven't got a short holiday, so I was just a little bit worried that I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have enough time to pick up any more. And I much prefer to enjoy the ones I've got on my list rather than trying to cram in as many as possible. So yeah, let me know um, what you're reading in August, or if you have any book recommendations that you think I would enjoy. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.